Hey guys, what's going on? Gary here again. I'm going to do a video on the Grandstream UCM 6302 um, setting up my SIP trunk. I currently use um, SIPtrunk.com as a my SIP service provider. I actually signed up as a reseller too, so if anyone needs any help setting setting one up or wants me to create an account for them, you go over to um, Extensions Trunk, click on VoIP Trunk. You want to click add SIP trunk and here you want to the type is going to be a registered SIP trunk so you drop that down to registered SIP trunk um, for provider name I type in SIP trunk underscore GW1 uh, for the host name I'm typing in a GW1.siptrunk.com again if you're using a different SIP provider you'll have different informations um, that you're going to need to populate these fields with. Um, then uh, I scroll down, got to enter your username and password uh, provided by your SIP provider, and then the auth ID. Um, your SIP provider will give you all this information. Then once you do that, you want to save it. Um, and then once it's saved, you want to go back over to edit that SIP trunk. In the basic settings, I needed to add um, uh, the the host name down at the um, from domain section. So gw1.siptrunk.com, paste that in there, and then I want to go over to the advanced settings. Uh, now that you're on the advanced settings, you know again your SIP provider is going to use different codecs. Um, SIP trunk uses um, PCMU and G.729. And so you basically want to check the boxes on all the other ones that are over there and just have the PCMU and G.729 codex um, being used. So once you're done with that, you need to save it. And then you're going to want to uh, create a second trunk as a failover and for um, the provider I use it's it's basically you go back through and do the exact same settings instead of uh, GW1 uh, for all the domains that you're using you type in GW2 uh, so I just went back through the exact same settings I just did and anywhere there's a GW1 I put GW2 and now you can see over on the home page that the two um, SIP accounts are um, available and ready to be used. If you like this video, go ahead and hit the thumbs up. Go ahead and comment below. Hit that bell notification if you want to see more videos. Um, in the future, I'm going to be doing uh, next video and probably do the uh, extension setup or uh, inbound and outbound routes. Thanks for watching.